It's only for a podcast. I'm the car tattooing. And I'm microblading from heaven. Yes, sir. And today we're talking about what we learned this week in entrepreneurship. Hey, babe, what did you learn this week in entrepreneurship? I learned that you have to stay consistent with engaging in your audience. So engagement literally is everything. And if you're not posting Like you can do engagement in so many different ways too, like posting reels, doing story posts, um, asking polls, asking questions, do funny content, reshare stuff. Like it doesn't always have to be about your business, but you have to stay engaged by posting. Definitely. So so what happened this week? How did you learn that this week? Um, Well, Actually, when I started posting or getting back on Instagram or just trying to get back on social media, period, my fall, my likes went all the way down compared to what it was like a month or two ago. I was getting way more likes and I actually had to think about it. Why? It's because I was way more engaged with my audience. Okay, that's cool. So how long you took off? (laughs) Honestly, like. I would say probably two months, which is really bad, like really bad. Big bad. Fire. If that was a job, yeah, you would F. be fired. Yeah, an F fire, for sure. Huh? Definitely. Big <laughs> F. Big fire. So that's what I learned. And I learned it the hard way. So I'm actually now just getting back into the swing of things. So what about you? What did you learn? I learned to stay networking this week, man. You know, like I feel like I get so busy sometimes. I'm TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and anything you could think of, I'm doing that. Now we podcasting, you feel me? So I be forgetting to network. So I be shaking a lot of hands, meeting a lot of people, but I be forgetting to keep those handshakes, keep checking in with those people because I be meeting a lot of dope people, but I be so busy trying to get to the next step that I don't enjoy the trip. So entrepreneurship Mm -hmm. is a trip. We got to remember to enjoy this ride. Sometimes we want a rocket ship. You feel me? We want to get there and land. <laughs> take off. And the mission is over. Yeah. This mission never over. You want to continue to learn, continue to network, continue to hold those handshakes. I seen Kevin Hart say that. He was like, a lot of us be like, no, nah, I'm cool where I'm at or I'm cool doing what I'm doing. But we really not. Because if you look around us, a lot of us entrepreneurs don't have a big group of entrepreneurs around us. You see them cats out there in Atlanta? Man, they killing the game and they stand around each other. So I'm trying to do that here in AZ. And basically this week I met a dope dude, you know what I'm saying, named Johnny, man. He got a lot of stuff going. We got a podcast coming up. And last week, man, I met another dope person. So I got a lot of people that I'm going to be bringing to y'all on this podcast. But I got to continue to network to bring y'all those people to help y'all in y'all business, in y'all regular life, whatever y'all doing, and y'all interested in this world. Man, come over to this side. I'm bringing all the entrepreneurs. We got Microblading from Heaven, a.k.a. Babe, you feel me? She an entrepreneur, too, so make sure y'all go tap in. Like, comment, and subscribe if y'all over here on YouTube. And on the podcast, comment down below some things you think people need to do that you learned this week in entrepreneurship. Every day we learn something. So I really learned to continue to network. That's good. And what solution would you say to that? Like what so the solution? solution is people be like, man, nobody out here, nobody doing nothing, blah, 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 la, la, la. Man, you see this phone right here, man? These <laughs> phones that we hold in our hands is everything. You can go on Google and look up networking events everywhere. Even if they cost, man, go pay. All yeah. it takes is one person to change your life. Sometimes the people around us are not on what we on. So we got to make sure we putting ourselves in the correct circles. So getting them correct circles, get around the right people and let people know you more than just your business. You feel me? Yes. You, you more than For just sure. trying to make money. You want to also offer value. So just because you always focus on making money, make sure that you bring in value when you go into those networking places and give the game away from free. That's why we so far behind as black business owners, because we're afraid to get a game away for free. We feel like these people are going to hurt us when if you own and I'm on, we all own. You feel me? We all Team get to the work, next level. Make the you feel dream me? Work. <laughs> yes, sir. So that's my tip, man. Make sure y'all go on Google. Look up the next networking event in your city, your town, wherever you at, and make sure you go there. No excuses. No excuses. My solution basically would be if you sometimes in entrepreneurship, we get brain frog or we get tired because we're already doing so much. We're doing the work. And outside of that, we're doing all this other stuff. So I would say 
write down times and write down how many days a week you are going to dedicate to content and posting. Like get your schedule in the morning time you like to post. So now I kind of like get up in the morning and I kind of know the schedule like everyone's on. OK, the this like engagement does good around this time. So at seven in the morning, I make sure I'll try to post and actually posting every day. And like I said, that's reels, that's posting and also spreading it across all platforms. So all platforms, all platforms. I'm now on TikTok, microblading from heaven. So make sure you check me out. But yeah, it's just making sure everything is spread out through, you know, all content platforms because you can get followers engagement from everyone just doing one post. So that one post can go to like four other different and, and platforms. I got a big hack for y'all. It's called bunch content shooting. So you don't have to shoot every day. You could pick one day, treat it like a job, spend about five to eight hours on creating content. It's crazy. These one minute videos that y'all see <laughs> on most of these social media platforms take people a few hours. So y'all be thinking it's oh, easy. Know. It's definitely hard. <laughs> so don't think it's sweet until you get on this side. So get on this side for all the people that's on this side. Make sure that you're shooting all your content in one day. Change your outfit. I'm thinking we might shoot like a couple podcasts today. You feel me? We might just switch a hat, switch a shirt, and we back sitting down shooting another podcast. It's no excuses. If you don't have a lot of time, make sure you make that one day count. That one day you could at least shoot four videos. You could drop for that whole week. Absolutely. No excuses. Get to the bag. No excuses. Yes, yeah, sir. But that's all we wanted to talk about. You got anything else you want to say? Yeah, I do. I want to share another tip. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that we are, remember that you are the promoter of your business. Remember that. So you have to be in front of the camera. You have to be in front of posting content for your business, for yourself, for your brand, whatever that you're going for. But you are the promoter. No one else is going to market your stuff for you. You have to. And then if you're making funny videos and everything like that, make sure you do a call to action. That means Always. where you tell them to like share to your story. And like. now that you put all that time in, guess what? Now they are promoting it for you too. But remember, as entrepreneurs, we are everything in our business. Definitely when we starting off small. Especially small. Man, we was watching yeah. a podcast <laughs> earlier. My boy said so many black businesses, it's only one owner in that business, only one worker. So it ain't like we get a big team of people. A lot no. of us don't even know how to work together or even push one another without a payment mm -hmm. up front. We want that longevity. So right now, do everything hard in this short time period, and you're going to get to the bag. Get to the bag. So make sure you get to that bag. We'll catch y'all in another podcast real quick and brief. Yes, sir. Bye.